Hi, it's Alicia. Today I'm here to talk you through this heritage layout that I made for Uniquely Creative for their kit for the month of May. This is a wedding photo of my grandparents. I chose the rare paper because it had a vintage historical feel to it. I decided to cut the paper into a series of rectangles following the lines on the paper. There's no real right or wrong way of cutting this paper up because it can be quite confusing due to its collage nature. I also cut around a couple of frames that were on the page and a couple of the butterflies. What I'm doing is I'm just creating papers for layers so it doesn't matter if yours aren't exactly the same as mine. Once you have cut all of the paper up, it is time to ink the edges. I'm using the Kayser Craft Gold Ink for that. I chose this paper for the background because I really love its vintage feel. And I'm adding some stickers from the sticker sheet in a vertical design. I'm trimming the edges of the stickers and I'm saving those little offcuts for later on when I'm going to add them back in. This is a film strip from the chipboard in the kit. I'm going to place the film strip in this position here, but I glue it down a little bit later on in the layout. The next step is to do a little bit of stamping. This stamp came in the kit. I'm stamping it with the Kaisercraft Bark Ink. I stamp it in three places on the layout, but later on I actually come back in and add another stamp. You could stamp the clock as many times as you wanted. Our next step is to start adding in some paper layers. Have your photo ready and use some foam tape to start adding some horizontal layers to the layout. With this layout, everything you put on the page is going to be either vertical or horizontal. If you keep that in mind and that you're sort of working in the shape of a cross, there's no right or wrong as to where to put your layers, it's just adding things in where you feel they fit best. I'm just inking that chipboard with a bit of the gold ink. I'm going to layer it in on top of some of the papers. Now I'm just continuing with the process of adding more paper layers in to create dimension and interest to the layout. Some extra tips you can think of while you're adding in your paper layers is to try to keep it balanced around the photo and think of your end shape that you are creating. You don't want to go too heavy on one side if you want your layers to be basically in the center of the layer. This is where I add in another clock stamp because I think I was covering them up too much. So you can always go back in and add some more stamping if you feel like your paper layers have covered up where you've stamped previously. Butterflies are always a great embellishment to a layout. If in doubt, add a butterfly and, and it really does bring something extra to the layout, a, a three-dimensional embellishment. I really loved the burlap that was included in this kit and so I add a little burlap strip just behind the photo and that creates a different type of texture. It also breaks up the paper layers a little bit as well. This is where I'm going back in and adding in the sticker offcuts, sticking them horizontally at the edges of the layout.
I'm just adding in a collectible there to go underneath the butterfly, just a little bit of blue and then another collectible down there underneath the photo. Then I decide it needs just some more floral embellishments so I add in a couple of fussy cut flowers that I'd cut from another layout and later on I go in and add in a couple more leaves. Finally I choose a sentiment, the layout is complete. I hope you enjoyed this layout. Make sure you subscribe to the Uniquely Creative channel and have a lovely crafty day.